Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. And today we are learning about the Yellowhead Moray Eel. These guys are awesome. Prices on them you'll normally spend about a hundred bucks on them. And then it kind of just goes up the bigger you want to get them. Tank size, you'll need at least 120 gallon. The one you're seeing is actually in like a 250, so we had plenty of room to run around in. Care level, they are super easy to take care of. Temper, they are semi aggressive. He is a little bit more aggressive eel that I've dealt with. He is definitely one to go after some fish. Reef safe, oh yes, they're always reef safe, but you always have the chance of them eating your inverts, like your cleaner shrimp and other small fish. So you definitely want to keep an open mind that you don't have anything. That would get eaten whenever you put them in your reef. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78, DKH, 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's all basic there. Max size, you look at them getting about two to three feet. The one in this tank is about three feet. And he's pretty old now. He hasn't really grown much after that. Color, the real white black spots down him, and then the real bright yellow head where he gets his name from. Diet, they are carnivore, so make sure you're feeding them things like shrimp from the grocery store. And make sure whenever you actually go and buy shrimp from the grocery store, just get plain whole shrimp. Don't get anything like spiced up, has the seasoning all over it. Just get plain shrimp for them, then thaw it out and give it to them. They'll love it. Another thing, you can try squid, but we really don't have a way to get squid around here. So maybe if you're near the beach, it's a lot easier for you. Origin, they do come from Indonesia. And compatibility, just ask down below. Like I said, he is a little bit more aggressive eel in the tank that he's in right now is with different puffers, uh, snapper fish, and some groupers. So he doesn't have anybody to mess with and nobody that's going to mess with him. Make sure you have plenty of live rock in your tank because this guy will go behind it and hide and then come out to poke his head whenever he's hungry and just run around. But you want plenty of room for him to hide in. That way you feel safe. Another thing you could do is lay PVC pipes in your tank. And then cover him up with sand and leave different open spots for him to go down and hide up in there. That way he has even more room to run around. Tight lids are always recommended for eels. We have them all over this tank to make sure he doesn't get out. Because eels are definitely some escape artists. They will try to get out of your tank. So make sure you definitely have lids on there so he doesn't come out. But other than that, it's real easy eel to take care of. Most eels are easy to take care of. You just got to make sure to feed them. That'll keep their aggression down. You know, feed them two to three times a week. This one gets fed every Wednesday and every Saturday. And he stays really healthy and happy. But other than that, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all learned something about the Yellowhead Moray Eel. If you got any more questions, please leave some comments down below. And I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.